your next hunt, let's trade. Welcome to the garden. How are you doing, Bree? Is this where you planted your wife's seeds? It is. They're a part of Plainsong now. Where they can take root and flower. I miss her. But I'll keep pushing for change, just like she would have. I still can't believe something so... She didn't deserve any of this. But at least I have this to remember her by. I'm sorry for your loss. Even if one day we leave Plainsong, I'll know the seeds she carried will have been part of our people's cycle. And it's all thanks to you, Aloy. May you always walk in a field of plenty. Will you trade today? What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. Yul, please. Later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. I apologize for Yul. She used to be friendlier, but grief robs many of their kindness. Grief? You and Zoe brought the Land Gods back to us, but troubles from our time of want remain. As our crops failed, we sent hunting parties to the Old Growth, a forest to the north to bring back meat. A machine slaughtered the last party we sent out. A cloth strider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it more deadly than any we've seen before. I saw you up there when I spoke in front of the chorus. Yes. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help you, and especially Zo. Many Utaru like to think we're above politics, but that is far from true. I don't often agree with Fane, but I have to work closely with him on many matters. So you didn't want to cross him? Not in such a public way, no. After you exposed his ally Kel, however, I think he will find the power of his voice will be lessened. And maybe yours will be louder? We shall see. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them, Ven, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. If it ventures beyond the forest, no one will be safe. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small patch of seeds, given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunter's families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the Claustrider. There's the survivor from the hunting party. Then, I'm here about the machine in the old growth. You're going after that horror. I'm going to try. Do you mind answering a couple of questions about it? I'll... I'll tell you what I can. Tell me what happened, step by step. There were five of us, hunting for boar to help feed the tribe just like we had done half a dozen times before. Some machines got in our way. Happens every time we go to the old growth. Like always, 
we cleared them out. But this time, when we were done, we heard this roar. Hey, easy. I saw a flash from the trees, all claws and tail. It ripped right through Cole and Ree and Zan. Came right at me, slashed my shoulder. There was blood. Then an arrow slammed into its neck. My friend Lau, he distracted it. Yelled and whooped and it turned on him. He disappeared into the trees and it followed him. Last thing I heard him yell was for me to run. So I did. I was halfway back to plain song before I realized what I had done. Left Lao to die. Is there anything you can tell me about the machine that might help? It looked like a claw strider, but it was stronger. Much stronger. Anything else? Its armor was darker and it had a strange purple glow. Thanks. I think I know what I'm dealing with. I need to get going. You don't want to fight that thing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Well, if you do, I hope you cut it to shreds. It killed Lao, my oldest friend. Must be the old growth. Shell said the hunting party was attacked near here. Best place to start looking for the hunter's seed pouches. Hmm, pouch is full, but my pack has room. Must be one of the hunters. I'm gonna take out those machines. the hunter's seat pouch. Got the pouch, but where are the other hunters? And the claw strider that attacks them. I better check for tracks with my focus. There. Claw strider tracks. I might have chased the other hunters deeper into the forest. Another hunter. Claw Rider must have caught up to them. Okay, got the seed pouch. Better pick up the Claw Rider's tracks and keep going. Strider caught him. At least I can return his seat pouch. I need to put a stop to that machine. I 
Clear scan for tracks. Okay, three hunters. There should be one more. Claustrate right probably chased after him. There's some kind of residue here. Up. I don't think it was from the closed rider. Maybe from a weapon? Looks like the closed rider continued up the cliff. Lao gave it quite the chase. Cliff's covered in gouge marks. The machine must have clawed its way up. Like the machine's claw got stuck here. Slowed it down. While the hunter kept running. Those tracks end here, and no sign of the last hunter either. I don't know why those machines are watching that crack in the cliff. Better clear them out first. Interested in that crevice in the cliff. I should check it out. Got a feeling Lao was pretty resourceful. They're gone? I wasn't expecting a rescue. Thank you, Outlander. I'm after the Claw Strider. Where did it go? 
You're hunting it? It's okay. I fought bigger. Who are you? Just stay here while I try to pick up its trail. I'll let you know when it's... I can handle it from here. I can slow it down for you. Stay back, and don't fire until I do. Watch for its claws. machine. I've got your back! It's done. We did it! <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad it's dead, that's for sure. It's Lau, right? Ben thinks he left you for dead. He made it back. I was worried about him. He said you saved him by getting the Claustrator to chase you. <laughs> and he saved me by sending you after me, so we're even. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he figures out I'm alive. Go on back then. And thanks for the assist. Slowing that machine down helped. Then here, take this. I can craft another one if I need it, but... Well, I hope I won't after this, not for a while. One more hunter gets to go home. Now I just have to return the seed pouches to Shale. I should give her the seed pouches I recovered from the old growth. A word, Aloy. Aloy, Lau has come back to us thanks to you. Here, the seed pouches. I'll see that these are returned to their families for planting and remembrance. I'm sure Lau and Van would like to thank you in person. You can find them at the grove. It's been an honor, Aloy. May the land be kind to you.
matriarchs would cry if they read this about the old ones. Aaron, may we speak? Got a minute? As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakhth knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but... We thought they were just bandits. Hikaro sent out a patrol or two, but I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. It's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with Old World machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zenus probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. Zenith lab is. Kotalo thinks he can find what he needs to build himself a new arm in there. I should try contacting him. Let him know I'm here. Hey, Kotalo? I'm at the Zenith lab. Ready to come over? I'm on my way. Aloy. 
I appreciate you meeting me here. I'm happy to help. Did Gaia mention where exactly in the Zenith lab we'd find what you need? She mentioned the chamber where you found Beta, and the database that lies within. She said it'll help us find the knowledge and components I require to build a new arm. At least we know where to look. We will have to be quick about it, in case the Zeniths are watching. Understood. The lab's up this way. You okay? I got this. Machines. We're scrapping the specters for parts. Can we dispose of them? Well, we can sneak past them. Entrance to the lab is by that tunnel. Come on. The enemy did this? Hard to believe. But yeah. Enemies up ahead. But... I guess if Festus was busy, they could find our killers. We better get a move on. The room we found Beta in is up ahead. Lead the way. Here. Now we just need to find a way to access the database Guy was talking about. 
Varro mentioned you found Beta in one of those pods. I would hate to be locked up inside such a thing. There's barely room to breathe. I think I found what we're looking for. Let's hope it holds the answers we seek. I'll download the database to your focus, so you can search through it later. What about the components? They should be somewhere on the... Spectres! Fight with honor! Honor is everything! Can't with my stamina this slow. The Zenus might send reinforcements. We need to finish up and get out of here. The components should be somewhere on the second floor. I'm right behind you. We need to search the entire floor. I'll keep a lookout. Don't want any more surprises. Good idea.
A vent. Might be a way out of this room. Tell me the components are in there. Components have to be here somewhere. I should go back and give these to Katalo. On the components? See for yourself. You have my thanks, Aloy. Something wrong? I was just thinking about what it will be like after I build the arm. Will I feel different? Whole again? <laughs> Idle thoughts. They can wait until we're back at base. You go on ahead. I might want to take one more look around, in case there's anything useful. Very well. I look forward to putting what we found to good use. Walk with the Ten.
Need something else? How's it going with the arm? It is nearly complete, but I'm still adjusting the fittings. Soon, I must test it. Looking forward to it. You probably want to get back to training. Be safe. Yes? You said you were training with the Focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. Must be strange, seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. What do you think of this place? It must take some getting used to. It's an efficient center of operations, and an acceptable training facility. Though it could use some more... color. Duly noted. Anything interesting happened while I was away? I found an acceptable place to practice with my blade. Oh. And where is that? Outside. Above the base. There's a nest of sun wings that are always up for a fight. Ever thought of sparring with something that's not trying to kill you? That would defeat the purpose of the training. Found anything interesting during your training? Gaia told me where to find data on how wars were waged in the old world. I knew the Ten fought against machines, much as we do now, but it seems they were among the last of their kind. Later, machines battled other machines on behalf of greedy leaders, as they Vied for lands and spoils. At least the Tanakh have the courage to put their lives on the line when conflicts arise. There is nobility in that. But maybe we just need fewer conflicts in the first place. Yes, of course. Hikaru would have it so as well. Getting Aether out of the grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaru's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the... knowledge. I am no chaplain, but... What is it? The old... if you care, they call... That's... I heard my friend Talana came by the base. Did you get a chance to meet her? Briefly. A bold woman going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. She'll be careful. She's just looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying for. Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. Have you spoken with Erend at all? 
I've had little chance to. I did see him bring some ale from out east. That stuff's as bitter as Selfbrush. You get used to it, eventually. In fact, I wouldn't mind a drink myself. I'm sure Erend wouldn't mind sharing. What have you been up to? Varl has asked to learn the differences between my people's clans, so I've been teaching him to knock the history. It is heavy with blood and death, but also with honorable deeds and vanquished tyrants. Maybe you'd like to hear about it as well, when our mission is done. I'd be honored. What do Tanakhth do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend, is surprisingly good at it, although he has yet to beat me. It helps one think strategically, hones the mind for tactics. Somehow that still sounds like training. I should leave. Proceed with caution. I was hoping you could speak here. Snow's coming down. Okay. I see you, champion. Sit, please. 